Hi, welcome to another Dollar Tree shop with me and haul. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video where I show you exactly what I picked up. I came in Dollar Tree not expecting to find anything new since it's still like in the Easter season and as soon as I saw this display I thought I'd go ahead and start recording and I'm so glad I did. Dollar Tree has really stepped up the little wooden figure section. There's so many cute items and what really caught my eye were these. I think they're like you can hang them on your door or on your wall but what I thought these would be cool to do with is take them apart. And so for example, you see this little K here, the K can go on the front of a journal and then the wooden balls on the edge, you can make into a tassel to go on the side. I absolutely fell in love with the stencil. Look how big it is compared to my hand. And if you were to go to Michael's right now, you're gonna pay a lot more than $1.25. Stay tuned till the end because I'm going to show you um, the stencil in use. And I have to tell you, I think that the quality of the stencil is definitely a little better than it used to be. It's a little more firmer and not as flimsy. I'm not sure if this is a new item or if I just hadn't seen it before, but I think this is a really great idea to have. It's a fabric bundle and it gives you three different varieties of the fabrics that all coordinate with one another and it's really great because you get three instead of one and then you don't have a ton of leftovers and when working with junk journals I feel like you don't always need so much fabric. I knew that Dollar Tree had really been trying to up their game but look how adorable this little woodland themed paper pack is and I think you can make such a cute junk journal with this have you seen this at your store they also had another one that had inspirational quotes on it which i think was really pretty as well and i think that if you combined both of them i think the possibilities are endless these are also really great to take and put in one of the dollar tree frames and have it sit on your desk or on a shelf I think that these little baggies were misplaced, but I couldn't find any more. There was just this one pack, and I think these are really cute to have, if not to store little bits in, to put inside of a journal page with some ephemera inside. Okay, so this is a product that I've shown, I know at least once before, and it's something that I usually walk past when I go to Dollar Tree. They have them all the time. And although I think that it's a great idea to have a pack of scrap papers, I really didn't have a need for them. But when I tell you that those little fibers stopped me in my tracks and I started looking through them when I realized that there are like handmade or mulberry type papers in there look at those fibers they are so good and when i tell you to run run to your dollar tree and pick a pack of these up you will not regret it since the last dollar tree video that i posted i've gone in a handful of times and really haven't found anything new so I really just went in kind of goofing around. I did not expect to see anything. I had to run and get a cart and get my phone out and record. What? Look at these Scrabble tiles. They are so cute. I have so many ideas on how to use these. And um, there's gonna be more that I'll show you in a second that I didn't see. They also had these galvanized letters and it looks like they have half of the alphabet, A through M in one pack and then N through Z in the other pack. But look how cute and little they are. You guys have seen me pick up the, these numbers and so for size comparison, you can see the difference. And I think anything miniature is always cute. So I went back to the Scrabble tiles and I realized that they had them in black and white as well. They are so 
cute. What do you think about these? I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw all this home decor stuff and it wasn't like cheesy. It was actually really pretty. And um, I was just kind of filming just to show you guys what they had so that you could decorate your room. Because you can always change the style if you don't like that farmhouse style. But these pieces definitely caught my eye. There were these little wooden kind of stakes. I don't know what you would use them for. Um, they had these rounds that are so cute. And then um, they had these that were more like oval shaped. And so stay tuned to the end to see which one of these I picked up. And um, I'm wondering, what is your guess? Which one would you have grabbed if you were me? Leave it down in the comments below. Here are more of the tags with the wooden beads. And so the same concept would apply. I think that you can take them apart and use them as a two for one project. They have them in natural wood as well as this painted black. And I'm trying to show you guys the numbers in case your Dollar Tree doesn't carry it. You can order online. It is bulk, but if you have friends in the area that um, might like crafting. It's something that you can get in together and buy it all and disperse it. I'm not sure if Dollar Tree has always carried staples by themselves, but what I did notice was the packaging has changed and it is so much nicer than the packaging to the right. Wouldn't you agree? I'm a sucker for nice streamlined packaging and I think that is a win-win on Dollar Tree's part. I'm showing these book rings here, and I know I've shown them before, but if you have watched any of my past lives, you heard me talking about rusting items, and these work perfectly. If it is something that you'd like to see, leave a comment down below, and I'd love to make a video to show you exactly how it's done. If you're watching this video, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that you too are an office supply lover. So I always make sure to check out the office supplies at Dollar Tree and I found these really cute poly three ring binder folders in all these fun colors. Definitely something new that I hadn't seen before and I think they are really cute to have and you can use them for your reference book. After finding the legal size file folders, I always take a peek to see if I can find them again. And what I did notice is that the color was a little different than usual on these file folders and they are a much better quality. So if you stayed away from them before, definitely go check them out. And I don't remember the price of these at a regular store if you get a better deal or not. But these are full size Elmer's glue sticks for $1.25. Speaking of glue, I don't know what made me turn around and look at this again, but it's Crayola washable glue, which I'm not even sure is really good. But what stopped me was the design of the bottle. I love that it's square and I think that'll fit like really nice in your hands. And I opened it to see the size of the um, spout. And then I noticed that the lid actually goes inside. And so this might be a good alternative for the art glitter glue bottles. Let me know your thoughts down below. There's a common mantra in my head and that is you don't need another notebook. So I'm gonna pass these up for today. But what I did notice were these um, full size erasers. They're like retractable erasers and I love having these, especially when I'm doing watercolors. Another fun pr product that they have and are these correction pens. So it's white out, but in pen form. And so it's going to be opaque and really nice to give just, you can do like the look of splatters or you can write on your pages. These are really versatile. When you're going to go inside of Dollar Tree to look for journal supplies, 
don't miss any section because sometimes you'll find things where you didn't expect to. This is a little party aisle and I found these festive napkins and of course florals kind of go with any occasion. Um, these as well, I love the green gingham with the florals. You kind of get a two for one there. And these are really great to decoupage on the front of a journal or on a page. I think I've done that um, tutorial before, but if it's something that you'd like to see, definitely leave me a comment down below and I'd love to show you. I think that one was the prettiest design. And this one I've seen before a little different, but I think that this one might be even prettier than the original and it's like a long size instead of the small squares. I told you that no section is off limits. Look at the children's section. They had all these cute little crafts, but these would be so adorable as little charms that sit on top of your journal or on the edge. So cute. They had these little cacti as well as these rainbows which are really cute i think it's a fun project you can make them with your kids or just make them by yourself and um, include them have you tried any of these crafts i'd love to see your responses down below and see what you thought of them sometimes when you're at dollar tree you have to just look at other stuff not just junk or journaling stuff and that was the case with these adorable little lip glosses they're the little tin types that um open up and you stick your finger in and <laughs> put them on and they're so cute they had a couple different uh, flavors they had strawberry and grape and i thought these were really cute i'm kind of kicking myself for not grabbing one or two once I got in the groove of looking for things in unexpected places, the cleaning aisle was no exception. And I found these carpet runners, but don't you think they would be really fun to layer over? I feel like this would be such a good score. I don't know that I'd seen these before, but they're lace doilies. These would be great on the cover of a journal or for layering inside the pages. It's kind of a rubberized kind of fabric and I think they're really versatile. Over by the cash registers you'll find a section that's kind of looks like it's for teenagers or kids and I found these. They are the little buttons that go inside of Crocs and they're so cute. I think that if you were doing like a fun summer journal these would be a really cute accessory. And I think I've talked about planner stickers before at Dollar Tree, but what I wanted to encourage you is just because they say they're for planners, that doesn't mean that you can't layer them in your pages. They don't need to be for just planning. As we all know, like with Tim Holtz, he loves to use numbers and letters, and these would be really great. The ones that I'm showing here are more like retro 80s style and i think if you were working on a retro journal these would be really cute to put in there but my main thing is i wanted you to think outside the box and look at things that maybe are intended for one purpose where you can repurpose them and use them for your junk journals which is kind of what the essence of junk journaling is anyways I've mentioned it before, but I am starting a series on making a junk journal only using, or at least trying to only use Dollar Tree products. And so I have a set of these and I'm gonna pull them out and make sure that uh, we try to incorporate them. I know for me, when I was first starting out in journaling that I would watch Dollar Tree videos and I think, okay, well, you're suggesting these things, but how do I do it? So that's what that series is going to be based off of. And it's going to be a series for beginners as well as intermediates and pros alike. So make sure that you're watching out for it. 
Also, in case you don't know, if you look at the bottom of this video where the description is, you'll see a little bell there. If you click on that bell, you can get notified anytime I release a new video. That way, uh, you won't miss out. Okay, let's get ready for the haul. So, I actually got some really um, good stuff. I'll start with... Um, this that I picked up. That's not that exciting. I did not show this in the video, but it's a sanding sponge and it's medium fine grit. And I've been using, I was actually with Lori and she was saying that she uses one of these and I have one of these somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So I picked it up. This is great for distressing your papers. So I'm just gonna grab this um, scrapbook paper here. And so you can feel on different sides, it's a different grit. So I think this one's more, you can kind of even see that's a more coarse, whereas that's a finer grit. And we're going to, actually we're going to, I'll show you how you can distress. And then you can use it for the distressing of the ed edges which you can see here. And so you can see how you have like a little white edge now. So um, that's a, a good buy for $1.25. You will make a mess <laughs> anytime you sandpaper. Um, I also found these cuties, which were not, uh, these were at Lori's store, which I did not film. And, um, she, I had to get these. I think they're so cute. They're pom-poms, but I love the colors. It just reminded me like kind of a sea moss and, um, just, I don't know. I'm really into this color palette right now. And so, um, I know it's more like fall, but I'm so pretty. So these are the pom-poms and I believe that they had other colors. So now, um, I'm gonna do something from my store and something from Lori's store. So from my store, something that I picked up, I had to get these little uh, like Scrabble letter tiles. So it looks like it comes, it's a 26 piece. It comes with, I'm gonna guess one of every letter. This is the code and we're going to open them up. So you can take a look at them. So they're really nice. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get like an accurate. So I believe that's three, a little bit. Um, actually it's almost a quarter of an inch thick and they are almost one in a, one and three quarters by one and three quarters. So really nice. These are going to be a little thick for you to put um, in your journals, but they would be great on the cover or if you don't mind adding bulk, which you guys know that I don't really mind that much. I'm going to stick those to the side. And then look at these are so cute. I looked for them at my store so that I could film them for you guys but my store did not have them. These are little Uno cards and wait until you see how adorable. Let me grab. Wait until you see how cute these are. Ah! <laughs> They are so cute. And so they had Uno on the go. And then they had also uh, Dos on the go, which I guess is another card game, but I same uh, same company, but I've never, never heard of them. Also, I love this paper, whatever they're, they're in. And these are supposed to be for kids, I think, to take like on car rides. That's where it was. It was with like the car ride games. Look how cute these are. Hold on. I don't want to rip this paper because I think it's actually really cool. They are so adorable. I'm going to show you. 
So these don't have like the Dollar Tree skew. It just has like from the manufacturer, I guess. And look how adorable <laughs> these are. These would be so fun in a um, junk journal about like games or like kid themed. So cute. And so these are going to measure about one and almost one and a half by two and a half. Super cute. Okay. Next, I think everything else was from my video and from my store. Let me move this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to start with, oh, I lied. These were from Lori's store as well. So these are, I don't know that I, maybe I've seen these, I'm not sure. It's a multi-pack round doilies. And so what they're used for here, you can kind of see they have like a picture of a place setting. There's 32 pieces total. I'm not really sure how many you're getting, but we're gonna open it up right now. This here is your skew. And we are going to open these up. And I think the bigger ones are meant, like I said, for a place setting to put, um, your plates on, but Lori had used one in one of her journals and she just cut it down and it was actually perfect. So I'm probably not gonna be able to count them because you know how they stick together, but I will show you the sizes that you get. So, so far it looks like you get four sizes, maybe five. See if these match up or not. Okay, so you're getting four sizes. So let's see. I'm gonna guess there's eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you're gonna get eight of each size, which would be a total of 32. The first size, the small size, is going to be about six and a quarter. And I'm measuring from edge to edge. And this is gonna be about eight and a half. No, eight and a quarter, sorry. The third size is going to be 10 and a quarter about. I'm gonna guess these are 12 and a quarter. Actually, they're almost exactly 12 inches. So these are really nice. So like I said, she cut hers off. So like example, for example, with this one, if you were to cut this in half, this is going to more than likely go over your page. But if you cut it again, like here in half, you still have a half here and a half here. So I think these are really cute. It is a great buy. You get 32 for $1.25. So I think these are a win, win, win. <laughs> okay. Now, the things that I found at my store, other than the Scrabble tiles. Pencils, and I think I showed you the, the SKU forum, but just in case I didn't. And these are massive. I mean, you can see here, I'm not even gonna be able to fit the whole thing on the camera, but each letter is about about um, one and, a, and three quarters by one inch. 
So those are really nice, like for some background images, you can take your, you know, we talked about the, um, the little makeup blenders. So you can take your ink pad and then your um, makeup application brush. And I'm gonna show you how to use this. And I'm gonna be doing a um, full Dollar Tree junk journal with you guys. So I'm accumulating a few items that I'll be able to do it with you with. Um, and I'm gonna show you, I can't find any of my um, Tim Holtz ink, but I think I can make it work with these. These are really old, but they're still good. I think, well, we'll find out. That one seemed like it's dry. We're gonna see. And there you go, you have your little stencils. You can also use these with acrylic paint. And I think those would be a lot of fun for some background pages. And then you can also use more like a darker ink and um, make it more bold. Another product I picked up were these little wood slices. And I can't wait to use them. They'll be on the hinges or the spines and also the front of journals. Is this something that you would venture out and use in your journal? Um, if you guys remember one of my other Dollar Tree videos, I had gotten this little money from, it's the Monopoly set. And so I'm just gonna add that there because I think it looks so cute together. Anyways, now back to what I was saying. I have talked about this item several times. I've gone by it. I was like, I don't really need this until t today because until today, because I went through and what I noticed was some of these papers are like mulberry papers and they look like handmade papers. So I'm going to open these up. So some of them I'm, you know, I was not like too keen on this. I don't know what is going on here with the texture of it, but it's actually really nice. It almost feels like a, a suede, but look at this goodness. I can't believe that I've passed these up. I know I've told you guys about them, but it wasn't until today that I actually grabbed one for myself. The papers are so good. Like look at those fibers. And I don't know if all of them are that good a quality. Like this looks like just regular cardstock. They almost feel like they've been like abused, like they've gotten wet and then dried up again. And maybe that's, that's what it takes to make these. I don't know. They're discarded. I don't know. But look at this. Look at the fibers. You can see like little pieces of like, see, those are flowers. I was really excited about this. I can't believe I've passed them up so much. And I, like I said, I know I've done videos on them. Look at this. Can you guys see the veining? That's so good. And so these are more for like your side pieces for layering and stuff. Look at that. That is a leaf and that is a flower petal. That is so good. And like I said, you can just tell by the, I wish you guys could feel it, but I definitely encourage you to run and, and grab these. I'm going to go through this pack because like these are good. These feel pulpy and it does feel like handmade paper and maybe it's not. I don't, I don't know where they're getting this paper from. I don't know what. It's so good though. And I tried to grab a pack with colors that I knew that I would use. These have like gold specks in them. This feels like homemade papers. I don't know, it's got some kind of like stamping, like I could feel it embossed in there. Look how pretty this one is. It's like a deep blue. I wish 
this pack was all these, this color. And they're not all the same. So like this one, look at this. Oh, look. <gasps> like that is so good. <laughs> Actually like rose petals. <gasps> they're all throughout this. So I'm not gonna disrupt these, but until I'm ready to use them. But that is so good for texture, for adding texture. I'm gonna go ahead and open the other pack for you so you can see them. And I tried picking out, like I said, ones that I, I saw papers that looked like I could use. They're not easy to open. Like this one, somebody had already opened it. You can kind of see how like it has the little glitter specks here, but it is attached, not just with this little strip, but this thing, and it was a little harder to take off. So I couldn't really check them in the store. Also, I think that in a store, when, when you open, for me, when I open things, I'm only going to open it if I'm pretty sure I'm buying it because I don't want to open it and then somebody else not, you know, get a product that wasn't open or that I touched all over. These are cute. Oh, I love these strips. Ah, oh, this color is so pretty. Oh, this one too. Like, look at that. That's so good. Look at that layering right there. I mean, these feel like like nice papers that you're getting from, I can't, like paper source. You know, they have like the big rolls of paper. These have like the glitter inside. Isn't really my color palette, but it's still really cool. See what I mean? Like, I wish you could feel, listen. Like, I don't know what texture that is, but it's super cool. It almost is like denim but in paper form. And then this, these are embossed. Yeah, these are, de this is definitely like embossed. I'm really bad at saying what, if that's snake or whatever, but this almost feels like rubber. You can kind of see the sheen on it. More of those, maybe it's snake. I don't know. <laughs> I said ostrich the other day and it was elephant. So, oh, that might be elephant, like the pebbling. So good, so good. So I could see why somebody would pass these up, but if you do mixed media or um, just junk journaling in general, these are great. Oh, look at these. So they're like gold. I don't know if it's like 3D paint that's drawn on there. Um, you can use it from the back too if you don't like the gold. This is really pretty. <laughs> A little, I mean, literally it's like scrap pieces. So I wonder if they're getting them from like, like a supply store that does like invitations or just, you know, does fancy papers and these are the off cuts. I don't know. But I think these are so good. And see, honestly, I thought they were all going to be like this, which is not really my um, style to use. It's it's just a, a little kiddish for me. Um, or maybe it's not even kiddish. It's just not my style. And so I've always kind of passed them up. They're, I think that they're a great value for, you know, the amount that you're getting for the price. These This is all embossed. Um, but I, for me, it didn't really work. And man, I'm going to tell you something. I'll be looking there for now on. These are kind of the equi equivalent of the, of the chindi rugs. I mean, look at those fibers. They're so good. So I grabbed this one because it had a lot of whites that I could tell in the back. But I am pleasantly surprised by this. I want to hear your opinions on that and what you think about these paper packs and have you ever gotten them before and like what is your take on them? Um, would you get them again and had you not really looked at them like me and maybe now you'll go back and get some. So I'm really curious about that. And then this is my little extra item. 
My friend Lori got me this little um, Easter Christmas. I mean, it's not a Christmas tree. It's like this little Easter tree and it's the iridescent. So cute. I'll have to include it with my other trees. I have a collection and um, then I'll post a picture for you guys, but you can kind of see it's so sparkly and fun. So thank you, Lori. And I will be putting this up. But um, anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I hope that you liked the, um, the shop with me as well as the haul. And also, are there any products that you saw on the shelves that maybe I missed and that I have to go back and get to? Or are there any items at your store right now that you saw that you think that I would love? Let me know down below. Anyways, I will see you soon. Bye.